Hello, we are Team 24-3 working on the project Handoff as per the TA India Analog Design Contest 2012-2013. We are students from the Electrical Engineering Department at the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Handoff is a gesture recognizing glove. Our main aim is to build a sign language interpreter for the speech impaired. This of course has other futuristic applications like shown in the famous Hollywood movie Minority Report. We will now explain the hardware setup for hand talk. We have used the nitrile glow which sensors press appropriately for sensing bends in the fingers. These sensors are called flex sensors. They are made out of a material called velostat which is a piezoresistive material. Velostat is available as static discharge bags and are extremely low cost. We were able to make all the sensors for under rupees 10. The glow has 10 flex sensors, two on each finger. The sensors have a relaxed state resistance of more than 1 mega ohm. The resistance changes to less than 100 kilo ohms when the finger is fully bent. This is a change of more than 10 times. The sensors are configured so that the output voltage is high when the fingers are relaxed. The voltage goes low when the fingers are bent. This has been achieved by placing them in a voltage divided configuration along with a series resistance of 500 kilo ohms. The voltage change is multiplexed by TI's MPC506 AP multiplexer. Then the analog data from the 10 sensors is time multiplexed and sent to the TI's TLC549CP analog to digital converter. The ADC digitizes the voice and quantizes it into a 8 bit representation. This is fed to TI's MSP430 G2231 microcontroller. The microcontroller serializes the data and sends it using UART protocol to the Bluetooth module. The TI's EZ430RF256X Bluetooth module can transmit the data to a laptop or a smartphone for further processing. We shall now demonstrate our algorithm to process sensor data using MATLAB. The scopes on the screen correspond to the voltage across the sensors. The value for each sensor ranges from 0 to 255. In the relaxed position, we have all the sensor values above 200. <coughs> now we will bend one finger and observe the change in the scope. When we bend the index finger, the voltage dips down. We can see that the voltage change follows the finger movement. When we open and close the fist, all the levels can be seen to change correspondingly. We will now demonstrate gesture learning and recognition using MATLAB. We implemented a training algorithm to tabulate the expected signal vector for each hand gesture. We then used a minimum mean square error algorithm to recognize hand gestures. The computer then sends the data out to an Android mobile which can articulate the characters sent using an onboard text-to-speech algorithm. We will begin the training for A. Training for A is complete. Now we will do the same for B. The training for B is done. We similarly train for all the other alphabets from A to E. Now we shall demonstrate how these letters are reproduced by the computer for interpreting gestures. We shall first make the symbol for B. Now we shall make the gesture for E. Now we shall make the gesture for D. Now, we shall again make the gesture for E. Now, we shall make the gesture for A.
Currently, for recognition gestures, we have implemented a rudimentary minimum means plus some algorithm. We are looking at advanced alternative methods which will take into account non ideal sensor behavior like eigenvalue decomposition, neural networks, and autocorrelation matrices. Adding additional sensors like gyrometer, accelerometer can further aid in detection of complex gestures. The MATLAB code running on the computer can be completely ported into a smartphone, thus making the complete product very compact. Applications of this blog can also be extended to areas like 3D mouse, gaming, bionic remote controllers. We would now like to thank everyone involved with the project, especially our project guide, Professor Nagendra Krishnapura, for his excellent guidance and support. We would like to thank Texas Instruments for organizing this contest. We would also like to thank Dr. C. P. Ravi Kumar and Sagar Juneja for their valuable tips on proceeding with the project.